Premier League February Player of the Month is coming very soon and it might actually be the last one for quite a while because football has now been suspended and in this video I'm going to be talking about when exactly are we going to be getting this SBC in FIFA Ultimate Team and also who's actually most likely to win it. Is it Bruno Fernandes? Is it Aubameyang? I'm going to be talking about all of the nominees in here and all the information that you do need to know. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to make lots more videos just like this one, always making sure that we are up to date with the latest promo that is going to be coming to FIFA Ultimate Team, making sure that we are preparing, talking about when exactly it is going to be released and generally staying ahead of everyone else. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos. So getting straight into this video now, like I did mention at the start, this is actually very important because it actually might be one of the last player of the months that we are going to see unfortunately for quite a while. No one can actually say for how long it is going to last, but maybe eSports are going to extend how long this February player of the month is going to be available for because we're not going to be getting the next future ones for at least the next few months. So the current ones for February, we have six nominees that have been confirmed, which are Aubameyang with three goals in three games. That definitely looks like a good contender. Then Calvert-Lewin with two goals and one assist in three games. And the recently transferred Bruno Fernandes really hyped about with one goal and two assists in three games. Then we do also have Marcus Alonso in only two games, has actually scored three goals for his position is actually very good indeed. Then we do have Doherty, one assist in three games, did also do really well on the defensive side. And then we do have Nick Pope in four games, made 11 saves, only conceding one goal. And he did actually get few clean sheets which is very nice as well so if I actually had to narrow it down to only a few I would probably say Alonso, Aubameyang and Bruno Fernandes are the main ones. Alonso did actually make an amazing return to the team actually helping in very key games similar with Aubameyang who has also helped Arsenal in a very significant way important goals and led by example and of course then we do have Bruno Fernandes who has just been absolutely amazing settled extremely well into Manchester United on Unfortunately, we aren't going to see any more of that in the next few weeks, but he did actually completely change the form of United and they really look like they were on a roll since he actually arrived, so it would definitely be deserved and a lot of people might actually vote for Bruno Fernandes, but we do need to remember that the Premier League fan vote only has a small impact on the final decision made by the Premier League board, only around 10% I do believe, so it could honestly go down to anyone, but Bruno Fernandes will actually be very nice in my opinion. So when is this actually going to come out? Whoever it is going to be, there was something that held up the current nominees from coming out. But now of course they have been released and the vote has actually now closed. So the final decision is actually going to be released very soon and it is always announced usually on Fridays that Aguero Player of the Month SBC has expired a while ago. So we are not waiting on that to actually expire. We are just waiting for the Premier League to actually announce it and because we always get on Fridays when we look at the closest one it should actually be the 20th of March so that is when we are going to be getting it and we will also see what else is going to happen in FIFA but the prices of these if we do generally take a look at their other special cards Alonso will be pretty low should it be under 100k or something close to that it is going to depend on the card they do give him Aubameyang is going to be the most expensive out of all of them he did actually have his 89 rated player of the month card it was actually around 450k and his headliners card right now is getting close to 700k so if he did actually get a 91 rated player of the month card I would like to see him somewhere around 700k to 800k hopefully lower than that but knowing EA Sports it might even be a lot higher and now Bruno Fernandes his 89 winter refresh card is actually close to 700k only a week ago it was around 600k he is going up because of the hype in real life people really do love him at United so his player of the month 90 rated card I would like to see him at around 600k to 800k kind of similar to Aubameyang but there is so much hype around this card it would be really good to actually see him a bit lower so more people could get him and again because this is actually the last one for the foreseeable future it would actually be very clever from EA Sports to give him an extra boost to 91 rated but unfortunately I don't think EA would actually take advantage of this situation so unfortunately 
personally, I think it's just going to be the regular OnePlus upgrade to make him 90 rated. Let me know down in the comments below who you actually want to see winning Premier League February Player of the Month and also what price you want to see them at. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.